Good evening, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast Edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking. This is another request that we're finishing up on ABUS Arbutus Biopharma Corp. If I said that right, um, it appears that we've gone over this video before. We're going to just kind of do a really quick revisit and let you guys know where we're seeing the markets and the conditions and where it needs to break above in order to have the um, the momentum to go to the upside. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get into the charts here. If you're new here, welcome. Consider the subscribe and if you find any valuable information in the content, loyal subscribers, welcome back. The YouTube algorithm is noticing the channel thanks to your engagement, appropriate thumbs. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we have here in the chart. So let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's February the 3rd, 2000. Uh, sorry, March the 3rd, 2021. And the previous close of this stock is going to be $3.64. It closed down approximately 4.9% for the day. Uh, ticker symbol ABUS, if we didn't go over that. All right. So it appears that, uh, yeah, again, we went over this before. Here's a video that we posted on January the 14th, 2021. Double digits coming soon on this stock with a question, an exclamation mark and a question mark. Uh, we're going to have to keep that question mark there because here's what we've been following. That's it. Really simple. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing a symmetrical triangle that appears to be breaking to the downside right now. We're going to get a zoom in here. So the double digit territory, this red, the green line overhead represents the target, which is at like twelve dollars and sixty seven cents. That was found through technical data only. If you're new here, we don't go over any news, guys, just technical data. That's it. That's why we I guess we that's why we get it wrong a lot. Right. Because all we do is look at lines and patterns on the chart. So it appears that it entered this pattern back in uh, March the 17th, 2020, approximately at a dollar and 59 cents. This little range here. And it's been finding perfect support at the bottom at this uh, ascending support line here. And uh, these are three day candles that we're looking at. But it looks like uh, right now. Uh, it appears that it wants to break down below this line. Now, it's not official until it's official. There's still 17 hours to close on this three day candle. If it could just pop back above the three dollars and eighty five cent level and close, maybe like a green candle. That would be an interesting sign uh, for the buyers as they are continuing to protect the lower ascending line of this uh, bullish symmetrical triangle. I mean, I guess it's, it's not really, we don't know if it's an actual symmetrical triangle just yet, right? It has to break out. Um, it can also break out to the downside. Breakout is consisting of it breaking out of the pattern. The pattern is a symmetrical triangle, okay? So whenever you hear someone or myself say break out, it can go in either direction. It appears that, again, it's breaking out to the downside. Um, I'd say that even if it breaks out to the downside, that means the sellers would have an obligation to follow through. That would mean that they need to break the price to the downside as far as um, at least as low as two dollars and seventy five cents and just continue the momentum to the downside. Because, again, if they're breaking out of a pattern, the sellers, then they have to follow through with their obligation. Let's just say that they come down below the support line and they just start having a little bit of trouble following through to the downside, then it's likely that the buyers are going to intercept their breakout and just kind of consolidate just below the support line, potentially break out to the upside. That's a possibility, obviously not guaranteed. Please execute your strategies out there. Know how much you're going to enter and exit the market if it goes against you like a stop loss. And of course, where you're going to take profits. Okay, don't listen to me on YouTube. I'm just explaining the beautiful story behind price action. And of course, this is a request. We're not invested in the stock. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. I do think that there should be some sort of sign of where the market is headed over the next two weeks. I don't think it's going to take longer than three weeks because the moves to the downside happen. You know, when you take an elevator, it's faster than taking the stairs, right? You walking up the stairs in a bullish trajectory. Take the the elevator down takes. It's really fast. I know that's kind of a weird explanation, but you get what I'm trying to say. So if it, the market is going to uh, go to the downside from here then I don't see why we wouldn't see any real evidence of that again within the next two to three weeks. So the only level that I would be paying attention to is again, $3 and 87 cents approximately. If it can get a close tomorrow, actually uh, above that level, we're going to open a new candle on March the 5th. 
okay 2021 so the price actually needs some time to uh, develop mature a little bit more um, I don't think I'm going to be participating in this so this is all the technical details that I have for you wonderful folks again hopefully we left a link so that you can check out like the overall view where we go over the uh, the yellow line and everything in terms of the significance of the sellers continuing to step into the market when the price gets above this yellow line so you know just kind of watch that video at your own leisure but yeah, it's going to get pretty interesting in this market. So yeah, hopefully you guys are pulling up your charts out there. It's just really simple. Just pull up. These are three-day candles. Just pull up like that little symmetrical triangle and just monitor that lower line to know whether or not uh, this price is going to break down. Um, it can go in either direction. Obviously, it looks like the sellers are going to make an attempt here, make a break for it to the downside. Uh, again, there's the one level is 275 now. 275 in terms of where it could go down to to 8387 is where it needs to close above in order to have a fighting chance to continue to maintain support above this financial support line. Uh, this ascending line here that we've already gone over. And let's just do an overhead uh, target where it needs to get above and stay above in order to have some sort of breakout, which I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but it needs to be very aggressive if it's going to happen. Right. Uh, overhead targets or overhead resistance is at four dollars and 63 cents that would be kind of the range or the first area four dollars and 59 cents you know it needs to get above that level break above I'd, I'd rather it to obliterate because this this yellow line has been a real challenge for the buyers so they really need to show some strength in this market show the sellers like listen back off the price ma'am we're trying to rip to the upside uh, that's what the buyers would tell the sellers. So they really need to do that in a reasonable amount of time because, again, if they lose this support line, then it's like, okay, where's the next financial support area? You know, it's like the buyers are still, they'll be in a position where they need to figure out something really fast because they, I don't know who's developed this ascending line here, but yeah, it's going to get interesting in this market. Two to three weeks, okay? You have the levels. So that's pretty much all I have for you wonderful folks. Hopefully this was useful information. This is all I have for you, okay? So leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content, if you found any value. Uh, get a discussion going on in the conversation. Let me know if you guys are actually invested in this stock. Uh, speak amongst yourselves of what it is. Okay, I'll focus on the technicals. Also, before you go, if you're new, we cover the alternative markets. If you're into Bitcoin and altcoins, we do cover that throughout the week. So subscribe with us. Hit the bell. We'll see you that information when it's available. And it covered everything. Yes, good. Out we go. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolios. Execute your strategies. Thank you for the requests. We're going to talk soon. Bye for now, guys.